And uh, so now all of a sudden, I'm hearing better, I'm seeing better, and Google is sending me all this incredible stuff. It's a flood of stuff coming at me. Google really likes what I do, which is to query their engine so that I can dig deep into it on some particular subject. Well, they realize that I got a stroke and, and I'm interested in the brain and in, interested in why rock music is so influential and all this other stuff. It is building with automation at Google building a profile of who I am becoming. There has to be a snack be shot in time, and then it has to go for a duration. Mm -hmm. and, and also including now, stuff we had recorded. I started writing notes and using effects so that I could type in uh, my reflections on what we talked about. Now, fortunately, you're really patient. And so this is good because I eventually get it out. A great lesson in communications because it's hard for me now. And it turns it out it was hard for me before and I did not know it before the stroke and you didn't know it yeah until now after the stroke and having heard yourself speak and comparing that to the way you were communicating before right so when i read the eureka phenomenon there's this flash of insight a way for me to help that process for bob dilling not wanting to do it anymore Want to turn up his hands and say, no, I want to write. I don't want to answer questions because I don't know where it's coming from. The story isn't available in the left brain unless you work at it. And usually if you work at it, that means that it's going to go away because it's, it's a left brain activity. Boom. And though I read The Guardian every day, I never saw that article. Google sent it to me. Which article? The article about Bob Dylan? Yeah. Oh, you're kidding. Unsolicited, Google sent it to you? Yeah. And that's what you're saying about the fact that Google uh, knows you're all about you because of all these different um, aspects of Google that you're using to for this project. And so unsolicited, they sent you the article. And so I ha I'm sitting here and I'm saying the best day at the library was no, uh, wasn't even close to what I'm doing sitting there in my home with the dog barking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Google is very open about what they want users to do. They want people to share who they are and they want to uh, give back. For me, that's, I'm an uh, information junkie. I love it. It's really good. And so I read about Roger Penrose. Do you know that name? Sir Roger Penrose. He's a mathematical uh uh, physicist who uh, is advancing a, a hypothesis uh, with a MD, a Stuart Hameroff, about quantum consciousness. So the theory that they've been uh, looking into is the microtubules in cells, quantum intermace could happen. In neurons, they're very close to brain activity, consciousness, the idea of brain as computer. It does do that. There's no question about it. But there are things that are, uh, as, as he says, Roger Penrose and 
Stuart uh, Hammerhoff say that are non-calculable. It's an awareness, not a sophisticated computer. Very interesting stuff.